What up? It's your boy Big PB out here on Arco Sacred. Coming at you with a brand new series called Wild Plant Wednesdays. Let's see. Wild Plant Wednesdays. Wonders of the paper birch tree. See, you got paper there. I'd been looking for chaga growing on my birch trees and I was making snowshoes and lo and behold, there's some chaga right here. So this is chaga. It grows on birch trees. It's not a whole lot of it, but it's a, it's a type of fungus. It's a mushroom. It's a, I mean, it's edible, but you're not going to get the benefits from uh, just eating it. You got to make a tea or something out of it. But um, it's got it's kind of a miracle mushroom, really. It's got a lot of antioxidants that can actually lower your blood pressure. Uh, if you want to make a uh, be an entrepreneur about it, you can sell it at high dollar amounts to health food stores. Um, one thing to note about it is uh, it does lower, tend to lower blood sugar. So it's maybe not the best thing to live off of if you're in a survival situation. Although I've done it for, you know, probably a week. Um, but if you're diabetic, maybe watch out for that. Uh, other cool things about um, birch trees is that they uh, have a nice sap inside of them. And you can tap them, not unlike a maple tree. And... Um, you can actually drink the sap right out of the tree, um, and you can also make a syrup out of it, like maple syrup. It's not quite as sweet. Um, it's kind of an acquired taste, a little maybe bitter, spicy, but also a little bit sweet. And um, it takes a lot more to, to make syrup, a lot more sap to make syrup, boil it down. So these are another type of fungus that grow on a birch tree. There's one that's kind of alive there, and there's one that's a little more cured. That one's cured a little bit, but they make kind of a, you can make a coal extender out of it. Um, it actually can deter mosquitoes and stuff like that. Um, so there's a lot of cool stuff about your birch trees. If you look up high, you can see a bunch of them growing on these trees. This is it when it's, um, kind of live and growing. It's like a weird little shell horseshoe thing. Another cool thing about a birch tree is um, inside the this outer layer of bark, there's an inner cambium layer. I'll just pull some of this off. So here's uh, some of that inner cambium layer. Um, it's uh, kind of like leathery. Right now it's a little brittle, it's cold out, but it's kind of leathery. And you can do like, a, make like baskets out of it. You can make like even liquid containers if you have some kind of way to make it waterproof, uh, like a sap or something like that, like a, a Doug fir, a pine sap, or something like that. But yeah, you can actually, it's pretty malleable, it's brittle right now, but you can make some cool stuff out of this. Um, write a, a letter home to if you're stuck outside. <laughs>